Well, hello everybody and uh, welcome to yet another late night stream. Well, late night depending where you live. But yeah, so I had a plan that we should paint some other game than Warcry, but then I had lots of fun painting these guys, so I decided I want to continue doing that and finish this project. Now, so far I have painted these guys so as you can see they are still not based i base them after i paint everything then i decide what kind of base i want to give them and all that but so uh so far yeah i painted all these guys and i went with the yellow orangey look and of course goblins are green even though i really wanted to paint them blue but I was not really feeling it so I decided to go with a standard green because they look really awesome that way so I got some guys with the spears this is my warband for Warcry Gloom Spite Gits as it says in the title of this live stream so yeah I painted these so far uh, all of these guys are just footmen and uh, now what I have left are these six squigs that are jumping all over the place as you can see there's lots of guys here but today we are going to paint this guy and i have three three of them have the spears and three of them have the hand weapon that's because that is what you use when you play either with the spear or the hand weapon so i made some options for me when i play warcry and i must say that warcry is an awesome awesome game i'm really enjoying playing it so we are going to put these guys aside since we don't need them and we are just going to paint this one so let me just see because this one is pretty it's like a high miniature so to say not high like in a stoned high <laughs> but high as it is it's really big so I will probably be all the time off the camera let me just quickly test it I don't know, I, it just might be good if I see I'm off the camera I'll move camera a little bit now if you are hearing me poorly that is because everyone in my house is asleep not just my son, my wife is also asleep and I don't want to wake them up so I have to think about that but yeah so we are going to paint this guy tonight and uh, the goblin itself is going to have these yellow robes and some orange details like like uh, this one has but all the robes uh, all the these squigs that they are riding each one of the squigs will be different color when i'm done with them so this one today will be blue because i like blue color color and i cannot help myself so yeah let's uh, start painting uh, this one now from watching it um, he has a lot of armor himself but he also has a some of these green cloth so this will be a little bit tricky to paint but I think that we'll start with with the yellow cloth first wait let me just grab the color I didn't prepare well for this video uh, sound is good okay glad you can hear me because I have to kind of be quiet but I also think I finally found the position for the microphone where it doesn't uh, block my brush from hitting it all the time and I still get to talk uh, like close to the mic uh, as you can see while I'm painting I'll just move the camera a little bit as I'm painting I'm talking in here hello so yeah uh, let's start yeah so we are going to start with the Nazdreg yellow Nazdreg yellow not really sure okay and this is just for his robes he has some armors underneath here uh, this part here is basically an armor but over here is cloth this is cloth this is all cloth now I'm not sure about this one 
uh, his helmet it doesn't look like a cloth it looks more like it's it's a metal but I'm really not sure wait let me just quickly check online and see how the they painted it. no I don't have to check online I have the box right here wait okay so judging from the box I cannot show you I'll probably spill some paint or something but judging from the box his whole helmet everything all of this is metal so we are going to paint it like metal but first we are going to do the cloth part with the yellow one and I deliberately went with this darker yellow I didn't want to go uh, these contrast colors are by the way awesome stuff painting with them is just easy breezy uh, they will not win you of course any painting competitions but you can paint miniatures really quickly with them and that is something that I'm after because I really don't have so much time anymore to paint at least not that much time that I had before so painting quickly is an option for me and yeah I decided to go with this kind of dirty yellow because these are the goblins and they should probably not have like clean nice yellow clothes I was I was opting more for for the dirty look I will probably do some highlights on those goblins that I showed you at the start of the video those will probably get some highlights on their yellow robe they, their yellow robes uh, because painting them just like that doesn't look any good it's missing something so I'll probably do that extra step and give them some highlights I know you can't see much because I have to go on the inside here I cannot really show you I cannot turn the miniature so that you can see what I'm doing and yeah they have the sleeves I think so we are going to do it like so but yeah I want to do some highlights also because I'll probably do it at the end after I'm finished with everything uh, just because to give them a little more definition because they look really uh, when you leave it just like that just like that it looks kind of dirty and unfinished so I really wanted to I really want to give them some more definition uh, even though it is a speed painting of sorts this project of mine I still want them to look good I don't want them to look mediocre I want them to look good not the best as I already told you I'm not uh, going to enter them in any competition probably maybe some online competition I don't know I don't know if I should they really are not that good painted no I'm not saying they're bad painted but when you see some some things that other guys are doing it is, ju <laughs> it is just it kind of gets even uh, it can be a little bit demotivating so you get demotivated with it so but you really shouldn't you really shouldn't I'm, I'm just saying it gets uh, like you you see some cool cool paint miniatures and oh my god I will never paint like this and so you just decide to not paint at all don't do it uh, if I did it I would probably never paint a miniature in my life because I'm really really uh, sometimes when I see what people do with these paints it is just crazy I'm sorry I went a little bit off the camera it's just that I went on a full talk with you and I completely forgot that this is also filming not just talking with you so this is not like podcast yeah so you really want to watch what I'm doing okay I think we are done with the yellow I think at least we are done wait some here okay so we got the yellows complete maybe I missed a little thing here but I'm not really sure I cannot okay now I am done with the yellow 
okay so next thing uh, since we are done with the yellow we are going to remove it back here and yeah we are going to continue painting now I cannot paint near the yellow right now because it is still not dried up and if I try to paint his hands maybe or something I would probably get too close to this here thing where there is a paint pulled in here so I would probably not deliberately painted some of it so we'll have to do something else I'm looking okay you know what we are going to try and paint uh, this uh, squig with the talasar blue color and we'll see how that works let me just quickly change some settings here okay okay so here goes nothing now this is pretty dark blue color so I'm hoping that I can smear it all over the place really quickly so I don't get too dark of a blue I should maybe diluted it a little bit I'll, pr I'll do that wait I have to go in front of the camera so I use some of this technical contrast medium just to dilute this color a little bit so that way it won't uh, be like too dark because dark colors uh, from these uh, contrast colors at least what I noticed so far is that dark colors when you paint with them they kind of get a little bit of um, like uh, like they are dirty something like that so we're going to use a clean brush okay so first we are going to use some of these and I'll just do one one mix just to give it more flow and control but still dilute it a little bit let me just take two full scoops we'll just unload it here okay maybe a little more than two okay this looks fine we won't be needing this anymore now I usually don't use this contrast medium because I really didn't have any use of it so I know this is kind of a little bit of boring part me preparing the paint and everything but it is what it is I have to do it because I need this to be painted the right way I don't want to overdo it do it all over again so let's say I think this will be enough okay I'm not really sure that I diluted anything but we'll see maybe I used a little too much of the contrast color these contrast colors have really really great pigment in them and it's really really hard sometimes to to dilute them and have kind of a little bit uh, more of um, lighter color but I think I think this might work I don't know, it still feels kind of that it's too much so I'll switch to a better brush I have this brush that really served its purpose but it's I use it for this thing when I need to mix the colors or something like that but I'll just switch to a more finer brush and I'll see how that will go okay so here goes nothing I will probably not be happy how it looks at the end but hey it is what it is and I will probably stick to it and not try to repair it we'll see okay so we got our contrast color load up and now I'm going to start from the tail and work my way up and I will just be as quick as possible to paint oh and I actually like it I think I dilu diluted it really enough to to get the consistency I was aiming for 
Now I just hope I have enough paint that I don't have to mix some paint again. But this works way better than I thought. It looks much much better. So I will not worry if I smear some on his armor or his or if I smear some some of the paint on his uh, his gums and all that because I will go with the paint with the white paint over it repairing it just so we can continue so I have to do it basically because some of these parts are really hard to get into so we'll have some fixing to do but really nothing nothing much I like how this blue looks on it it looks really like crazy goblins and I must say that uh, these squigs are <laughs> so overpowered in a game they do like a million damage and, and they are really good at uh, move they have movement and fly that represents them hopping around it's not like they are really flying flying but overall they are really really hard to catch uh, hard to kill because they have a huge toughness toughness 5 now I don't know that maybe that doesn't uh, mean much to you if you didn't play the game but I encourage you to try it I know it's a it's a games workshop game and you're probably thinking yeah that's like another half a million bucks needed to play but you really don't need that many models and everything of course you can invest in it pretty heavily if you want but overall uh, and it is a really nice uh, two-player game if you if you ever thought about playing some miniature games for for two players this this one is the one I would recommend for you because it is really interesting and, and there's lots of options with all the different war bands that you can use in this game and they are announcing already some new war bands coming so watch out for that also now I'm noticing that my paint is kinda drying up a little bit and I don't like it I have to hurry so I'll just try and do something stupid and add a little bit of water in it now I should not probably do that this contrast medium exists for a reason but I'm battling with the time here and I really have to hurry up and because I don't want to mix all the color again I really want to paint everything in one go so far so good I'm really liking it this blue this blue looks super awesome I'm really really liking it how it turned out much much better than I thought it will I think I covered everything I think I got all the parts that I wanted. Maybe I should just try and get some of this. Okay, here. I'm just searching if I missed a few, like for example, back on this leg, back behind this leg. I completely missed the part here. Okay, and over here yeah I think I think this will be this will be okay oh I'm sorry <laughs> it's out of focus completely I think I should probably pull the camera a little bit up because I never painted at least live stream painted miniature that is like this huge long thingy so I'm just quickly reset my camera a little bit to the top okay now it will be probably much much better also what I plan as you can see he has these little bobs of like uh, some some pimples or something I have this color I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's uh, enough of a lighter 
blue color I maybe use some other light blue color just to accentuate those some more I think I probably use wait I have to search for it wait a second I think I'll probably go with this one just because it is more lighter blue than than this one I fear that this one will be probably the same color just to exaggerate these little details like that I also plan to do the 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 little damages on the yellow cloth to show it some to ma make it pop a little bit more okay so now while we are waiting for this guy to dry up now we could use uh, green maybe or I'm thinking if I should maybe go with with the silver silver color for all the metal parts and everything okay so we are going to going to use a silver color as soon as I find it you know what I'm not going to go with the silver I'm going to use a black templar for their armor I'm not sure if that's a good idea maybe they'll end up too dark and I don't want them to be like super dark okay I will go with the basilicanum gray I'll move this aside because I don't need it at the moment Okay, so basilicanum gray for all the metal parts and while we are waiting for the blue parts of the squeak to, to I missed part here part of the blue wait let me just quickly check if I have some more blue of that if it's still there if it's not all dried up and it's not okay so I need to I mean nobody would see it because it's really underneath but I know it's there and it bugs me really really hard when I know there's a part that I missed but it really shouldn't be a problem if you miss the part, if it's underneath, nobody will see it. So just live with it. It's not that much. Maybe you can come back later and fix it, but really, there's no need for it. So yeah, all the metal parts. So his complete helmet, armor, his legs, this whole thing over here, without this mushroom and these mushrooms here, those will be different color. Probably the blue mushrooms since this guy is blue so we'll probably probably do a blue mushrooms with some of these light blue thing color just to give it some some story like he ate the blue mushrooms and now he's blue blue yabba dibba da die <laughs> yeah okay so let's start with his helmet and everything and we'll just splodge it with the paint with a lot of paint now I'll try to avoid these horns I want to paint these horns as, as they are like real horns and not a uh, metal one but I'll have to come back and retouch few stuff so I will not bother that much to completely avoid them because we'll come back with a white to repair the other things that we other boo-boos that we did so far okay dead air <laughs> so uh, as I already told you it's really hard sometimes to talk constantly 
ramble about stuff but I'll do my best uh, it is it is really challenging I already talked about it but it really is it, I really want to stress that out some more that uh, painting live and and talking with you is it's really challenging because I thought that I'm a person that talks a lot but when it comes to this it's really not that easy uh, I could probably talk more if you ask me something but there's only two of you watching and one is probably my wife from the other room because she's still not asleep I presume but she looked really really tired when I came home so she said she was going to sleep and I almost cancelled my my uh, this tonight I almost cancelled this uh, live stream because she told me that she can kind of hear me and then she can sleep and she's really tired and we decided I mean I decided I will still try and make it because I promised you guys and I don't want to let you down no matter how much of you come and watch but uh, if she cannot sleep or something like that I will probably uh, shut down the stream so just so you know but that is probably not going to happen I think that she's well away sleeping probably right now so we are good to go so far I'm liking this armor even though they're goblins it looks a little bit too shiny maybe for them but I like it I could possibly do a like a little bit of brown color over it just to give it that dirty look because the goblins really I don't think they shine and buff their armor regularly like keep it clean and everything but that would mean that I would have to spend some extra time on these guys and I really want to be done as fast as possible because I want to play with painted miniatures I decided I decided I learned through my life that painted miniatures no matter how good or bad are their painted are always better than unpainted miniatures so if you ask me paint them no matter how they look paint them because they will always look better than just boring old regular plastic so even though if this is not the best job I mean I can do a better job than this the, these uh, contrast colors are really good but they're not the best I could probably do a better job with the regular colors but I want to do this fast and I want to play the game with painted miniatures because always always I was playing the games when I played Warhammer I played it with all mostly gray miniatures and the painting was so slow because I was nitpicking everything and it would come to to that uh, that I would probably get bored with that army and just sell it and buy another one and then start to paint all over and you know so you get in this enchanted circle where you're constantly painting but you don't have anything painted up and you never paint play with the painted miniatures and that is something I'm trying to avoid right now so right now for Warcry I, I have those two warbands that you saw already saw me painting I got those two completely painted I almost went to painting this armor then I saw that I have to retouch a lot and lots of these parts so we are going to do that right now because this is all dried up at least around the things that we want it to be dried up uh, so yeah I wait I have some paint left in a brush uh, so yeah I always 
played with unpainted miniatures and that was really something uh, that I hated most of us in our club while we were hanging out playing Warhammer a long time ago before this Age of Sigmar nonsense and it was it was okay it was fun but it was always those gray pesky gray miniatures and I decided that I want to play the war cry painted I'm just mixing some white color just so I can redo stuff so I decided I don't want to play with the gray miniatures and it took me a record time to paint with these two those two war bands that come in a in a core set excuse me and I like it because it's fast it still looks good uh, sing as a single model it's really not that great of a paint job but when you see them on one, one group like fully painted one group then you start to notice uh, uniformity and it really, it really it really you watch the you watch them with completely different eyes and that is something I I noticed and I like it so now I'm using these contrast colors to paint basically anything I get my hands to. Some of the miniatures I would probably have a hard time painting. As I already I think I thought talked a little bit about it. These paints are good, these contrast paints. They're really good, but they're not good for long, big like big flat surfaces. There you will find some trouble because they can get splodgy on it and it just doesn't look right so you have to think about that when you decide if you want to paint because part of these vlogs that I'm doing is so I can talk to you guys and maybe get you interested in the painting all two of you who are watching and so Okay, I should definitely water down this white some more. It is a little bit chalky, and I don't like that. But then, if I water it down too much, I have to do multiple passes to cover some of these. And we don't want that, we want it to be quickly over. These are sort of like a speed painting videos. Okay. What else have we missed? I know I missed a few parts somewhere that I wanted to come back and repair, but I'm not really sure where I missed it. I could maybe repair some of this little mushroom that he has stabbed with his spear. Okay, some more white should definitely be here. Okay, so we'll have to go and redo all the teeth one more time because I see I need to paint the inside of his mouth and for that we're going to use this cool pink where is it i had it here where is my pink oh here it is volupus pink so we're going to use it for the completely entirety of his mouth and some of his gums but that will probably end up on a teeth some some of these paints so we'll have to redo that also oh yeah the horns i forgot i wanted to paint these horns white so I can do them like in a bone color and he has like a some kind of moon here their signature moon so that will be orangey because they have some orange parts on them also that's the theme of this army orange and yellow with all kinds of different colors of squigs but yeah mostly oranges and yellow colors and 
these nails here. What else we have? Okay, this is really hard position for me. So I have to paint it like an upside down with a brush and so that you can see it and that I can still do a job because sometimes it's not that easy as it looks maybe when you are holding the brush in a really weird way it can get really uncomfortable okay so <laughs> I want to paint this this little strap that's holding these little mushrooms but there's still some wet paint here so if I do it it will look like nothing so what I can do while I wait for it is I can do that pink inside his mouth and then while we're waiting for that to dry it up we can paint some other parts okay I need to go with the white I'm not done yet okay this thing here really needs some more bringing back of the white because it's just showing too much of the blue underneath it I I'm afraid that that gray one would probably not cover it correctly now this gray is not the best color I admit that I just maybe use another coat of Vizilicanon gray on some parts just to make uh, differentiate it a little bit or maybe I will go with the black with the uh, black Templar I don't know uh, I'm still deliberating on it what I want to do with it so now we are going with the volupus pink and we are going to paint inside of his mouth and all of his gums and around his teeth with this pink color it's kind of more mm. of a darkish pink so I think it will look really good wait I just have to make it stay open because it closes on me hey Kotska you are finally here <laughs> you didn't miss it So Kotska said that he always misses these live paintings. Well, my friend, now you are here and we are halfway done, but we'll probably hang out for another hour or so until I'm completely finished with this model because there's lots of back and forth repairing stuff. Okay, so this is really, really challenging to get into all these crevices. I know that most people won't see inside his mouth, but I know, I know, I said myself, just live with it, but it's for the camera, so I have to do a good job. I cannot go and do a mediocre one, so is just going to paint over these gums and I just picked up some white somewhere wait I have to clean my brush I got notification for the other stream uh, now hmm, that might be my fault I'm not really sure how all these streams and notifications work maybe there's the problem maybe when I announce them people are go there and it's not working and it's because it's here I, I'm really not sure I'm still trying to figure things out so it might be it might be me it's most probably me and I'll try and see how all of that works maybe watch a few videos because everything I did I just did on my own I didn't research it much on YouTube I was like yeah I, I understand how this works and I just did it but I guess I did something wrong we'll have to see ok 
Okay, so I have some white color over here from somewhere. Some of some somewhere white color is not dried up yet on this part over here. And I'm afraid to go anymore with the paint. It will look if I just drown it in paint like this. I think that would work. Okay. So now I'm just drowning it with the paint. This will dry forever. This will take forever to dry up. It's going to be crazy time here. Yeah, it's my fault. It's definitely my fault. So now we are done with the mouth we will have to go with the white over the teeth then we can go with the bone color but for now we are done with this so we can put it aside how many games are on my SN must buy list uh, do you want to know the real number or the real real number the number I tell my wife or <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking so for now I have like um, I think I'm around uh, 40 games that I will be bringing from Essen 100% about 40 games so of course some of these are like expansions I will be getting uh, two or three expansions for Aristea you know that I like Aristea it is on my queue list to be painted just after I finish some of this work right that I'm currently painting currently painting but yeah it, it is around 35 40 games so far and i'm still uh, wait let me just remove things so yeah uh, 40 is good uh, last year i brought 67 or something like that and it was really overwhelming for me throughout the year to get all this done and some of the games i done just recently it took me almost a year to film a review for them i mean i played them but I cannot do as many reviews as I want sometimes sometimes I can and then I do and I overwhelm you with the videos and everything but yeah uh, this one is drying up what we are going to do next is I don't know what should we paint oh yeah the hands the green we're going to pa paint the green parts so yeah that uh, so far I'm at the 35 40 and it will probably go up to 50 maybe but and that is still too much I just might back out of some of them and not purchase them because it will be just too too much and uh, uh, I mean uh, if I purchase them uh, I will I will definitely review them but uh, sometimes publishers give me a discount because I promised them a review and then I'm obligated to do it so I will not probably buy them on a discount prices because I don't want to be obligated to do something and those are all the games that I will probably review just not sure when so that way if I pay it completely or just don't buy it then I didn't promise anybody anything and I can review them whenever I want uh, because I'm still kinda small nobody knows about me only few people know I mean I have oh we, we went over 800 subscribers I'm not sure if I talked about it in the last I think I did in the last uh, in the last of these uh, painting vlogs but yeah uh, I'm not really that known in a board game community so when people give you games either free review copies or or they give you on a discount price or however you make a strike a deal with them they're always expecting those games to be reviewed in a record time but if you're if you're some big guy like if you're dice tower or something then they will probably expect it any time and they will be happy with it but usually us small reviewers we are dependent to do it as soon as possible so and it is kind of important to review it as soon as possible since some games that are like year old 
everybody knows about them for example uh, if I reviewed a game today that is like from 2016 I would probably get around maybe 15 20 views in a some month or two and if the dice tower did it they would probably get hundreds of ta or thousands of reviews because their opinion is more worth to to the, to the people watching than mine so reviewing old games is kind of useless for me but i still do it i still like for example i recently reviewed celestia just because i had the latest expansion for it and it was stupid for me not to review the base game but just the expansion is really not i don't see a point in it so i decided that i want to review the base game and everything but it really didn't get that much traction i think wait uh, l let's see let's see how much views did i get on a celestia right now and it was posted more than a month ago i think so it has really been up for a long long time okay so i posted celestia on september 4th it is like 23 days ago and i only had 25 views on it and i have 17 views on the first expansion a little help which is uh which is also uh, a is almost a year and something that it's out but the last one a little initiative the last expansion for it which is the newest has a 51 so the last the latest expansion has more views than the base game and the first expansion for it that's what i'm talking about it's really you you invest a lot of time in filming these videos and as you can see i put a lot of these um, failed attempts so to say uh, that that i have at the end of the videos when when i uh, re-record stuff and everything so you know how m so you just get a little bit of feeling that not everything goes smoothly sometimes i record for five or six times before i make it on the first try because i don't want to cut my videos i want them to be one take and it's just something that i like and it is how i operate and it is what it is i want to do it like that and i might change it in a in a in a future but for now i want to do it like that and so that's the issue that you lo you lose a lot of time to make a review and it doesn't get that much views which is okay nobody has to view or watch these videos and i, I mean mm, uh, people say but aren't you doing it uh, out of love and i completely agree uh, if you want to do it out of light do love do it out of love and don't worry about the views and i do it out of love i kind of don't worry about the views if i worry about the views i knew that the game would not get many views and i i shouldn't do it actually but i did because i like the game and everything and i want to talk about it i i wanted to talk about it mm, but still when you get all the views all the views when you get more views then then you get some uh, this is like what drives you to create more content because why creating content if nobody is interested in it just for yourself for your for your own amusement is kind of pointless a little bit but yeah so this is my little rant i mean it's not a rant i don't know how i even started talking about this let's see what the kotska is writing he's been writing a lot since <laughs> i started on my little rant uh the turnover of games crazy i don't know how they managed to make all of them yeah the bloopers are fun for us at least yeah yeah but <laughs> no no those those bloopers are really fun for me too uh i i like when i'm editing video and when i'm watching them <laughs> and all that and and to be completely honest i'm not doing them on purpose uh someone told me are you doing this stuff on purpose because i didn't see it in the videos before and i was like no i really don't do it on purpose <laughs> it is just <laughs> they happen and i never incorporated them i did once those uh, bloopers a year worth of bloopers and i know people like that so i remembered how people like it and they said oh my god it is funny it's so cool 
uh, can you do some more so I decided that I will put them in all of my videos at the end of the videos because that way it is kind of my shtick so to say so you know when you watch my videos that most of the time you will probably see some bloopers at the end of the videos not sometimes there are no bloopers sometimes I'm like a pro and do everything in one go which is super rare but when it happens I'm also happy because it leaves me more time to do another review oh <laughs> yeah that that one that one oh oh my god now <laughs> I have to I had to cut some of uh, the the footage for from that <laughs> because uh, my foul mouth uh, really spurred some some not so kind words uh, <laughs> I was really annoyed by that oh my god and I, I told them like my father was uh, he was redoing the bathroom we had some leak in the bathroom they had actually so he was redoing uh, the bathroom and everything and so I told him listen I need like half an hour maybe 45 minutes one hour tops can you just take a chill let me be and I need to film this because I'm all out of videos and people are waiting for the videos and he's like okay okay I will and uh, I start filming I'm one of my like five fifth I do a fifth video and I am completely destroyed by the five video since I'm uh, like tired my mouth is dry and everything and I just want to be done with it so I can go home and edit it and he starts drilling 30 minutes in and I'm like downstairs what are you doing didn't I ask you to not drill and he was like you said half an hour I said half an hour to an hour most yeah but you said half an hour so I just thought it's okay and I started drilling but yeah he was really cool because my f my father is a cool guy so I uh, told him to stop uh, I won't say that I uh, was threatening him but well hmm, who knows no I didn't so he said okay no problem I'll stop and then I just quickly wrapped up everything and came back to f film the rest I just left it at at that so <laughs> yeah but it, it was really it was really so some nasty but the the curses were in creation so I might just put them in and if I put them in most people would not understand it understand it but still it was really not something I should put in a video uh, yeah it was fun it's fun when you when you when you watch these um, these bloopers I, I like them I like them on, on other channels that I'm watching that I'm following I like when I when they put some bloopers because you can see that they're not robots who can do everything on a first try and they all do mistakes and when I started filming when I would do a mistake I was kind of a little bit of angry at myself come on Daniel how can you do that you you're not like a pro everyone can just take a uh, start talking and everything and you 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 are here like repeating everything over and over again but but then i realized not everybody is like perfect and can do it on a go on a one try so once you realize that you are in a good good place and then you can just start from there okay so now I repaired all the teeth with the white I don't want to go too much I want it to be quickly done so it dries faster and I said I want to redo this kind of strap it has over here because I want it to be like some brownish color or something because all the straps are brown right so I still have to decide how I want to paint these these mushrooms I'll, I know I want to the, the top part I want it to be blue with the white dots or maybe light blue dots but 
I'm not sure about the stem or whatever it is called. I'm not sure what color it should be. I could go for some bone color like these will be but there's also some skull on the base here and that will be the bone color so if this will be the bone color it will look a little bit stupid so I have to think of some other type of color I don't know maybe gray gray could be I mean this white that is almost like gray but it's basically a white apothecary, apothecary white I think I should probably do it with that one okay let's see okay okay so far so good I like how everything turned out it is not the best paint job most definitely I don't like this gray color for the armor I will definitely need to paint parts of his armor some different color just to give it more variety because right now it looks just it just doesn't look right it's too bland it's too much of one color all over this place so I don't know what to do I didn't come prepared <laughs> Okay, so what are we going to do about this one? <laughs> I don't know, but I've been told. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to do about this one. I will. I will go with the Dark Templar or Black Templar, however it's called. So Black Templar it is and I will go over now I have to remember that because next guys I will have to paint I'll probably have to use the same system just to get the even colors and coats and everything so I will leave his like beak and this will be light gray and I will go with the black gray over the helmet and this chin piece part over here and also I just might go for the black feet just to differentiate a little bit more I know I always say less is more but this one really needs some some defining changing a little bit so we are just going to go with the black and see how that works for us if it doesn't work I'll probably repaint it if I'm not happy with the finished product but as I see in it now I think I did a good decision I think this was a good call it will give it some much needed differentiation differentiation oh my god the words I'm using I don't even know if I'm using them correctly but I still decide to do so that is also one big part that I don't kind of like about <laughs> these live streams is that sometimes I will corner myself with saying some words that I'm really not sure if they are words or not so I decide I want to be like sound smart or something and then I spout out a word that I'm really not even sure that I pronounced at least correctly now my English is by far not the perfect English but it is what it is this channel says it's in bad English so you were warned when you subscribed and when you came to this channel that you will hear some bad bad English okay so I painted his helmet and I really want to paint something else but I'm not sure what so I don't know I kind of don't like it I think I messed up a lot I should have probably went for completely black armor on these guys 
it would look much much better but I don't know I don't know what to do I'll go and I'll paint the feet also with the black I, I messed up so I will be messing up completely just so I can eat myself later now I saw something that I wanted to try out but I'm really too tired I almost also one thing why I almost uh, another thing why almost this this uh, stream almost didn't happen is because I'm tired as hell I really am but I still decided I want to paint for you guys and girls if you are watching because I put this reminder that like I will be doing a live painting and then you for some strange reason you are crazy enough to just like oh okay so I want to watch that and you completely clear your schedule and then I'm not here so yeah I painted his feet kind of looks a little bit better but still not something that I'm happy with but yeah so Kotska I don't know if you are still here watching but tell me my friend what have you been playing lately did you play anything good today I today played a few games all of them great games I need to sip a little bit of water because I'm going to die I just remembered I have some coffee left wait I'm just going to grab some coffee because I need some coffee right now I'm back so I did prepare myself a coffee to bring to a club tonight when we were going to board game and <laughs> I completely forget it at home so yeah okay let's paint the shrooms maybe or the bone parts of the miniature no, we cannot do that yet. Hmm. What part should we paint next? Oh man, you are. Yeah, I'm. I'm sneezing for days now, for weeks, or something like that. But uh, the problem is, I think I just developed an allergy, which is super cool everybody loves allergies so yeah I know how you're feeling because I am feeling completely destroyed I sneeze once or twice and then my nose just starts running uh, and, and it's usually in the morning and like till till 12 13 hours and then I'm just fine it just goes away it is super super weird okay so now I'm going with the Talasar blue but this time I will not dilute it with anything because I want to paint uh, these uh, shrooms the blue shrooms because this squeak ate all these blue shrooms and now he's blue blue da ba di ba da die right so this will be fairly quick job because there's really not that many of these little shroomies can you even see it? am I painting it on a camera? <laughs> I did play Hadara recently and we only have December to go oh pandemic legacy yeah 
I never played that one and I really want to play it but sadly I don't have a company for it the people that I usually game with that I mean this is that's the type of the game that you don't bring to a game night to a club you usually organize some private sessions and play the game so the people I play this game with they don't they are not interested in in uh, pandemic season one or season two and I would really wish to play those but hey it is what it is maybe I should buy it and play it by myself now that would be stupid and not so interesting so I will not do that I'm just saying maybe but no ok I know that you are not seeing much right now it is because it is hard as usual oh I just got an email probably from YouTube that I'm live, live streaming even though I'm doing that for one hour now super super weird thing from YouTube who sent you that oh you are live streaming like I know I know I'm live streaming I'm talking to people right now so you don't have to tell me that I know but hey they probably have a reason for why it is like so and I have no clue what that reason could be okay these rooms are a little bit of bore boring to paint you kinda just go left and right and left and right and underneath and left and right and it is just but I think I'm done with these ok yeah I would say I'm done with the shroom so I missed some parts over here and some parts here and I missed a little bit of part here yeah I have a few then more than a few parts that I missed but okay so blue maybe this this these shrooms shouldn't have been blue but I will not go over it I will not repair it now because it would just take too much time already painting this for an hour and those should be done in like 45 minutes maybe and I could probably do them if I don't paint and have to live stream okay so yeah what did you tell me about the legacy you want a steady group for that uh, Hadara I never played so I don't know how it is but for for yeah for legacy games you have to have steady groups and that is not an issue but <laughs> more of an issue is when you have a little baby you cannot promise to be available all the time right so that is my main issue with the legacy games uh, when born I was just born uh, wait okay I just need to find this color when born I was born and he was like super super little then I could sneak out for maybe two three hours to to, to we play the that game from Stonemaier games that name is escaping me right now not really sure about the name I cannot remember right now uh, what's the name of there they have that legacy style game with the stickers and everything and it's called oh my god Charterstone Charterstone so yeah uh, we played Charterstone, we finished it, and I was really not impressed by it at all. For me, uh, Stonemaier Games is really a mixed bag. Some of their games like Sight and uh, Euphoria, Euphoria is awesome, it's great, and Sight is awesome, but, but some games like, like Charterstone maybe, and then Wingspan, I really don't know what's all the hype about the wingspan 
maybe it's it's about the team that I was not really sold on. I really don't care about the bird. The artwork is nice, but I don't need just nice artwork to love the game. I need to have a little bit of more than that. So yeah, it is what it is. Somebody will say that the site is stupid, and I will say that they're stupid. So we are all different people who love different things and that is completely okay and I'm okay with it so as long as you don't try to find me and kill me because I said that I don't like Wingspan that much I don't think that Wingspan is a bad game I really just don't know what's the fuss about so yeah so Hadara is like 7 wonders but with less team <laughs> yeah there's also one game called Oh my god, I'm, I'm escaping a game again that completely copied the stuff from gameplay and everything from Seven Wonders. It is a city building game. I just reviewed it recently on my channel. Viticulture also was not that uh, like wow for me. Viticulture was also like okay game, but I. I would never ask to play the viticulture but if somebody says okay I want to play viticulture I will not say no so that's that's the type of game for me okay right now I've completely forgot to told you but I am doing all the bone parts the, the, the bone thing down here on the base and the feet and the teeth and the horns and everything so there's a lot of bone parts that need to be painted right now so we are going over that and then we will be very near the end I just have to figure out should I use the gray color or some other color for, for the stem of the is it called stem of the mushroom is it stem is it neom that's the right that no 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 is it neom yeah, yeah, Neom, the cities of future, something like that. But it's it's really gr good game. It's a good city building game. But they completely copied Seven Wonders, like 100% copy of Seven Wonders. And I don't mind it. It is just they they don't even try to hide it, like some other uh, when some when someone else uh, comes out with a new game. But then you can clearly see what they were inspired by but they are trying to hide it with with some uh, new mechanics and they try to introduce some stuff that sometimes don't even work well but they still in throw it in just so they can say oh no 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 that's our game that we are really not inspired by this and that game and it's funny but yeah it is what it is I don't know if you played Charterstone, Kotska. So you can uh, so you can compare it because that's the only game I played that has a legacy team in it. So I really don't know how it compares to all the other legacy style games. Okay. So we have three people watching, but I'm only talking to Kotskai Bachina. So what other two people that are here are doing? Hello, talk to us, tell us, tell us uh, what games do you like? Did you guys or girls, whoever is watching, did you play Charterstone maybe? Can you compare it to the infamous legacy game and tell me is it any good or not okay I think we did all the bone parts the miniature looks much much better uh, so we are now going to proceed and paint with 
with the wild wood Wildwood, Wildwood I was interested in it but kinda cooled off of it and good, good that you did it's really not that great game it was, it was even boring at the moment at the moment while we were playing it and it's not because of the players or anything it, it was because it is just uh, it is just same same thing all over again all over again you can constantly do the same thing put some workers on the board uh, pull them out and collect the resources or when you put them you collect the resources I don't really remember right now but yeah it was a little bit repetitive and without the real goal why are we here why are we doing that there it was some story about some king or something but I was really I didn't really get that much into the story and while we are talking about the stories I might get get for review those uh, books where you go through choose your own adventure but you have a dice and then you have to roll dice and you build your character while traveling through book and through story so I just get my I just might get one of these for a review and that is something new that I have never did on this channel so be aware there might be a review of that sort coming and I think that could be interesting I think that could be something new and different to explore because I was always not, I, not that I was but I am always looking for these type of games this like when I first play unlock I was like oh my god this game is phenomenal what kind of sorcery is this how about nobody told me that the game is that great and so hmm, this kind of turned out turned out a little bit I don't know I just might leave these stems white even though it looks stupid kinda no oh, I need to paint them they cannot stay white it would be it would be bothering me I would probably be very annoyed by it Uh, Bloom Town, yeah, uh, a Bloom Town review copy should already been here. I was told I will be getting one, but it's still not here. The whole idea was that I do a review before the essence, so I kind of maybe create a little hype before the essence for people. So, but uh, the the thing is. Uh, now uh, some publishers not not anyone in particular like uh, but some of these publishers and uh, now i'm just uh, mixing uh, just uh, doing some shaking the paint so don't mind the sound so some of the publishers what i want to tell you some of the publishers uh, they really tend to not answer your emails for for weeks and months sometimes now i know they get overwhelmed with emails and bunch of reviewers are asking for uh, free review copies and everything and I'm completely okay with that but if you need more than a month to reply and, and if you if you for example tell me okay do you want me to send you game before the essence so you can create some hype and I was like okay yeah sure send it tell me when you sent it and there's like three weeks of complete silence and then you send an email uh, did you send it or anything no i'm not talking about bloom town it was completely other thing uh, so you ask them did you send it and they don't respond to you at all so i don't know why is that uh, how many emails do they get a day is it really that many that they cannot reply to you I i'm not sure so but i find it super super weird and it is what it is so now we are going to paint some just some regular white even though it will be a little bit of gray you will probably not even see it on camera but over here it will look much better than just a pure white and I'm going to paint it over all these mushrooms just to tone them down a little bit because if I leave them white like this 
it really doesn't look that good it looks they really shine through just too much but when you put a little bit of gray color on them it looks much much better I know you cannot see it very well but trust me it looks way better than it did when it was just a uh, white color okay so far so good I'm not 100% happy with how the miniature turned out I think I or maybe missed few colors choices of colors but I will leave it at that because I believe when I'm done with the unit as it is it will look much much better because it will give it some more consistency why I told you when you paint one miniature with these contrast colors it, it really doesn't look that good but when you paint more of them and then put them in a unit you get much much better results as it is okay so we could say that this is done but we need to paint some eyes and do some little touch-ups that I said I will be doing a secret to pioneer days pioneer days is uh, is that is from TMG right if I'm not mistaken a West Empresario and building city now you had me at building city as soon as I see a game about city building, I'm like, done. I want to try it. Okay, so I back this thing up. I'm back with the... I think there's some more white here that is still not all dried up. Yep, it's still alive. So, what I will be doing, I will try to paint the eyes on this guy. Okay, so now this is a process that you will love it it is so stressful it is crazy see this little white dot I really hate painting guys but these guys really have it pronounced really good so it's not so hard to paint it even though nobody will notice that I painted the eyes but I did okay so next thing I want to do because this one is missing orange it has nothing orange on it so we need to and it needs to have some orange to tie it up with the rest of the group so this crest here in a, in a form of half moon I will just do white and when it's all dried up I will do it with an orange color maybe I could do a few things on his armor the orange color just to give it a little more of importance like for example he, he, for example his shoulder pads you know what I'm going to do his shoulder pads orange that way I will break that ugly or ugly gray color that I really don't like how it turned out and it will tie up miniature with the rest of the group really nicely okay so we'll be here a little bit more than I thought we will be but it is what it is this is the whole the part of the painting when you decide last minute you want to change up a few things it is how it is but it's better to change it if you're not satisfied and leave it and then be bummed about it later and it would really bug me so I really want to paint this shoulder pads of his 
we will have to talk some more because this will dry up a little bit longer since I'm applying really heavy thick coat and then you should not do that when you paint but when you want results quickly it is the only way that you can do it so yeah Sorry, I am really concentrating to not miss anything because if I miss on it then I have to come back and redo it and I really don't want to do that. I want it to go on first, like for example I missed part here. So yeah, TMG. Um, <laughs> new Burgundy. I uh, you you Kotska, you watch me from like when I had what hundred subscribers maybe, and you know how many times I mentioned that castles of Burgundy need to have a new an improved version and all that I preached it and preached it that the components need to be better the artwork as artwork it is what it is I will not go into the artwork <laughs> I mean I will but not right now I'm but I really artwork is awful it, it looks the game looks terrible just terrible if you ask me I would yell actually to tell you how terrible it looks I am super pissed about it but I still because it's Euro game so you're kind of used to it they don't look good few of them do but most of them look like eh and more or more than that uh, <laughs> yeah you know all my dark secrets but more of that I am interested in the component quality of the game is the component quality any better or is it like still those see-through chits and so now let me just tell you what I'm doing I am using this uh, sky blue and I'll just pick these little dots here and there that he has and try to bring them out a little more to look like a pus or something or whatever they might be and <laughs> this is really hard to do on a camera so excuse me if I sometimes wander off the camera with my brush and everything because it is really really challenging to paint some of these details have to kind of stop talking because I need all the concentration to not mess up since it would be hard to 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 repair the damage I do and I already I overdo it on, on this one so I have to come back and repair it but I will not do on a camera because it will just be unwatchable but yeah I like it how it turns out these little no I cannot do it like that <laughs> okay this is super nerve-wracking for me right now really want to not mess it up but it's hard it's really hard 
So yeah, Castle of Burgundy. Um, the good thing is, is that if I understood correctly, you get all the expansions now in the game, in that box. But still, and I, I can swallow that artwork. I can live with it if the components are good. But if the components are still awful like they were, then I think I will just skip it. And I was seriously thinking of buying it at Essen. But I'm not sure. I have to see first see it. That's one of the rare times when I have to first see the game live before I make a decision. Usually I already know. Doesn't matter how the components look. If I like the game, I'll buy it. But this one, this one is a completely different beast tackle so yeah I know it's a dead air a little bit but this is really really stressful work for my shaky hands I think I did it okay. I think I didn't mess up that much, at least noticeable. So I'll probably leave it at that. I kind of brought them a little bit up, that was my intention. And I could do that on shrooms also, since he ate those shrooms, so he kind of got these little pop pops on his skin due to the shroom maybe you can explain it like so I could definitely switch to maybe a smaller brush but I think I don't really need to because this way is much faster oops, I missed one here so yeah and what do you think about castles of burgundy do you like it? Do you ever play Castle of Burgundy? Because if you didn't, that is one thing we should definitely rectify. Since that game is a blast to play, as the guy from Dragon Toon would say. It is really a great, great game. I see you are writing something, at least you wrote something, but I will reply to you as soon, see what you wrote as soon as I'm done with this, because I really need all the concentration in the world to not mess up this. It's taking way, way too much of the time that I thought it will. Okay, so we are done with all these shrooms. Um, this white is still not dried up enough for me to paint over it with orange, but after I'm done with the orange, this model will be complete. Of course, without the base. We have to base it, but we'll do that some other time. Uh, what did you say? Oh man, you never played Burgundy. 
yeah if the new version production of new version is the same as the old one just get the old one and really you don't need all these promo maps there's a uh, plenty of maps to play on and the game is different every time that you play it basically but listen after the Essen I think that Ivan uh, Kosak you met him the guy that does inserts from in my box he said that after the Essen in, in uh, November they'll have like game day or something and I think we are planning to go there at least Slaven, Anna and me are going so maybe we can meet there and we can play freakingly awesome castles of burgundy what do you say man okay <sighs> now this was very challenging miniature to paint and I mean it's really close to you it's closer than me right so maybe you could swing by I don't know I'm just pitching you ideas okay now I'm just waiting for this white color to dry off before I can paint it orange because I, I see there's some of it still not completely dried up so tell me man what else what else I need to talk to you people about something it's one and a half I'm painting this for one and a half hour that is too much for this miniature this miniature should be painted in less than that it's really not that complicated oh you are Tony I'm coming man awesome uh, he told me it's an all-day activity like it happens from more in the night phase not it's like not it's not like our Olympus where you are gaming throughout the day but you are gaming throughout the night mostly so we were thinking about maybe staying there sleeping for one day one night I'm not really sure if we are going to do that I mean it's not really that long of a drive if you are going with the with the freeway you can be there in like I think two hours maybe or something like that but still you don't have to drive if you are sleepy it would be a bad idea but it's it first we have to do Essen and everything then we'll see how it goes and if my kid and my life not my wife my life will let me to come and play with you okay I'm going to take a chance and try this Griffhound orange let me just remove this once more Oh, Neon God, yeah, you know how I like the neon looking games. Right, so yeah, we should definitely try that one. And I will be bringing uh, Dystopia with expansion. More neon, haha. <laughs> no, I know what you meant. I know what you meant. You meant Neon Gods. So, let's do the orangey and then be done with it hmm. I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> to start painting but here goes nothing let's see I think it actually dried enough if I be super quick okay this turned out good now it's much better than it looked before but still I'm not in love with this miniature I think I did a poor job I could have painted this much much better but it is what it is I will own my mistakes and I will just hope when I see them as a unit that these 
colors will blend better than they are now because right now I am really not liking it for the sole reason there's just too much of all kinds of colors I should definitely stick to, to one color <laughs> I don't know maybe I should repaint all the armor and everything that I did um, but yeah so yeah yeah Vincent Dutre really does a great artwork uh, I was always uh, uh, teasing Slaven like what's with you and Vincent are you in love with him but yeah that guy really does some nice artwork so basically we are done and this is the final product of today's work and I don't know I I like the blue color on it but I think I think I think I didn't do well there's really too many different colors either I have to repaint all these armor parts with the black and that would probably look much much better just leave the gray parts maybe on the squig itself so you can differentiate differentiate and differentiate uh, see I, I cornered myself into saying some expensive words so you can see a difference between these two guys more but overall I don't know it is just too much of, of gray and black and orange and uh, yellow and green and blue and uh, bone color I did what I always tell people not to do less is more less is more I always tell people less is more and then I go and do something like this but yeah it is what it is I will see if I will fix it if I do that it will probably be off the camera but I just might repaint everything with the black all the armor parts at least so doesn't look like anything to me Westworld yeah I didn't watch Westworld I watched few episodes I was like super bored with it yeah I mean even though you are not a painter you still can have an opinion on it if the colors are working or not I think that personally colors are not working that great with this one but as I already said I will leave it and once I see it as a whole model with all the other squigs I think there will be more to talk about yeah okay so basically that is that this was like an hour and a 43 minutes I usually go hour and a half so yeah that is that I will be signing off now thank you all for watching thank you Kotska for <laughs> making me company talking with me man you help me out a lot because sometimes it's really hard to ramble with myself constantly and uh, I will not stream tomorrow I thought about it I don't know it maybe happens who knows uh, hit the bell button so you know when I'm live and all that I promise I put a two videos a week so if you if you hit the bell you will not get like murdered with notifications of my videos and yeah that is that thank you all for watching and until next time pozdrav